MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. We've arrived in Austria, home of WFL Milton Technologies. Plenty to see. Paul, what are you looking forward to seeing? Uh, we're going to interview uh, Martin Drew today and he's going to talk us through all of the machines here. I've never seen a WFL machine uh, in real life, in the flesh. I've seen plenty of photos, so I'm very excited about actually seeing these machines because of their capacity, but not only their capacity, their capability. I mean, if it's multi-axis machining on difficult materials, this is the place to be. <laughs> Martin, this is the T100 from WFL. Just talk me through this machine. Uh, well, basically the T100 is um, a two or a four axis machine. Uh, starting with a swing of 860 and then the T range then goes up to a metre and a half in uh, turning diameter. So WFL is obviously very well known for mill turn, but here principally we're just talking about turning. Yeah, I mean, basically uh, WFL, yes, mill turn, but they get a lot of applications where you don't need the full capability of a mill turn. So the machine is based on the same principle, uh, but obviously without, without the, uh, the Y-axis and the driven tools. And what's interesting to me is you've got two turrets, but they're on the same, call it plane, rather than having a top turret and a lower turret. Exactly, yeah. And the main reason for that is it's obviously with a, with a top and a bottom turret, you'll get restrictions on the maximum swing that you can have on the machine. The beauty of this is that you, you get full, the full swing, as I say, up to a metre and a half. And do they work independently? So could you be uh, turning as well as boring? Yeah, you've got two independent X and Z axes. So the two turrets move and, and are programmed completely independently. Obviously, you've got um, the main spindle, which dictates the speed you're running at. So providing applications are able to use the same cutting conditions, then yes, you can do that. And where would this machine fit? Who would buy a machine of this nature? Well, as you can see, I mean, it's, it's it's sort of marketed at the, the shaft industry, energy industry, oil and gas, um, and so you can go up to eight metres long. So. so I notice we've got the two turrets which we spoke about, but we've also got two steadies here. Do, do they work independently? Yeah, completely independently, and you can have, um, obviously this has got two, you can have one, you can have three, you can have four, depending on the application. And is it moving um, along the bottom of the machine? Is it moving with the Z-axis? Yeah, what happens is the, the, each steady is positioned by the turret, so you, it's it's dragged to the position that you want it in, and then so you can move them you can move them both independently throughout the process. And what about the programming on this machine? Siemens. Siemens, yes, Siemens 840 solution line, so the latest Siemens control. And that's standard. That's standard on WFL, yeah. All, all the all the cars have the, the Siemens control. So I noted a minute ago that the machine was actually using both turrets to do a grooving operation. So that's for cycle time reduction. Absolutely, yeah. You'll see on here that, that, there's, that there's a large number of grooves in this particular part. You can use the two turrets to do two grooves at a time, so you're obviously you're halving the cycle. Or, as you saw earlier on, you can, you can turn one pitch at one end while you're doing the grooves at the other end. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.